We are gathered in the Oval Office for the National Religious Freedom Day, something very important and very special, and special to me and the people that are gathered around me. This afternoon, we're proudly announcing historic steps to protect the First Amendment right to pray in public schools. So you have the right to pray, and that's a very important and powerful right. There's nothing more important than that, I would say. We're joined by the Secretary of Education, Betsy DeVos, Deputy Attorney General Jeffrey Rosen, and students and advocates from across America. And advocates they were. They've been calling and writing uh, by the thousands, and you're representing that large group of people. In a sacred principle of our republic, that government must never stand between the people and God. Yet, in public schools around the country, authorities are stopping students and teachers from praying, sharing their faith, or following their religious beliefs. It is totally unacceptable. You see it on the football field. You see it so many times where they're stopped from praying, and we are doing something to stop that. Tragically, there is a growing totalitarian impulse on the far left that seeks to punish restrict and even prohibit religious expression. Something that, if you go back 10 years or 15 years or 20 years, it was unthought of that a thing like that could even happen, that anybody would even think of something like that happening. That is why today my administration is issuing strong new guidance to protect religious liberty in our public schools. The right of students and teachers to freely exercise their faith will always be protected, including the right to pray. So we call this the right to pray. Is that a good idea? Good, right? You like that, right? <laughs> Nine federal agencies are also proposing new rules to roll back discriminatory regulations. So we have rules to roll back discriminatory regulations on religious service organizations. And earlier this afternoon, my White House released a new memo to make sure federal funding is never used to violate the First Amendment which is a very big deal. Mr. President, tell me a little bit about what many folks, especially folks of faith, view as a culture of war out there. Prayer, a lot of things going on in society. What are your views on this cultural war? That we so well, it is a cultural war, and you have two sides, and uh, you have a side that uh, believes so strongly in prayer, and they're being restricted, and it's getting worse and worse, and I think we've made a big impact. Uh, and we're loosening up a lot, and I want to loosen it up totally. But you do have, you have things happening today that 10 or 15 years ago would have been unthinkable what's happening. Uh, taking the word God down, taking the word Christmas out, you know, I think we've turned that one around very good. I think we've turned both of them around very good. But we're not going to let it happen. We're never going to let that happen. And we're fighting it hard. You know better than anybody, we're fighting it very hard.